Hey there, YouTube friends. I'm back with my fourth Zoom R16 video. If you didn't see the first three, I'll put links below in the description box. Now, in this video, I'm going to be answering questions for Glenn and Ginger. There's some questions about uh, sharing files and transferring tracks from a computer to the Zoom and assigning the tracks. So I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk a little bit about swap. And I'm also going to show you a workaround on how you could use more than two insert effects in a project. Now at the end of the video, please check out my new music video for my song Spin and Wheel, which was recorded on the Zoom. And I also used the Zoom MRT3 drum machine on that song. So check that out and you can hear both of these in action. Now let's get to the video. I'm going to start off by showing you how to transfer files from your computer to the Zoom R16 and assigning the tracks all right and for this example i'm going to use a usb cord to connect my laptop to the zoom so we're going to look at the side of the zoom over here i'm going to plug in the cord and then i'm going to plug the other end into my laptop and now i'll get to it to transfer the files from my laptop, I started a new project in the Zoom. So you can see it says Project 23 Video 4B. And I'm going to start off by pressing the USB button right here. And now if I scroll through the menu here, you see it says Audio Interface, Card Reader, USB Storage. I want Card Reader. So um, I'm going to press Enter. It says card reader. We're going to press enter again. And now we are connected to my laptop. All right, so now I'm connected to my laptop. And if you look on the left side of the screen, we have the USB drive right here. So I'm going to scroll down. Let me pull it down a little bit so you can see it better. And remember, it was project 23. That's what we're looking for. And project 23 is right here. I'm going to click on it once and you see audio. So the, right here is where I'm going to drop the files that I want to transfer over to the Zoom. All right, so now I'm going to drag some files over. Now this, where it says BR8, I'm going to click that. This is an old recording I did on a Boss BR8. So I'm going to take the tracks and I'm going to drag them over to Project 23 audio. So I am just going to highlight all these tracks right here. And I'm going to just drag them over to where it says Project 23 audio. And you can see over here that we're dragging the files over. And as these files are transferring, if we look at the screen on the zoom, you can see that it's in the, uh, the process of transferring. All right, so now we're going to assign those files that we just transferred over to tracks. So I'm going to press USB again, and you'll see it says terminate. So we're going to click enter. Now it's loading the project. So there's project 23 video 4B. And if I play it, you're not going to hear anything because we didn't assign those tracks yet. Okay. So now we have to assign the tracks. So I am going to click project. And we're going to scroll over to where it says file. And now you see it says track one not assigned. There's nothing there. So now we're going to use the jog wheel. And there is uh, the file named A. That was from the uh, Boss BR8. I'm going to click Enter. And you're going to see it's going to transfer over. Now I will just exit. And now when I play it back, you're going to hear it. Okay, so it's there. So now we'll do that for the rest. Now I'm going to again hit Project. I'm going to hit File. And now over here, we're going to go to track two. So I'm going to light that up, amber, over there. And again, it says track two not assigned. We're going to use the jog wheel. And now I'm going to pull over file B. So I'll click Enter. And you'll see B is transferred. And click Exit. And now we're just going to go right down the line. 
Now I'm going to light track number three up. It says not a sign. I'm going to scroll over to C. Click enter. You'll see it transfers. We'll exit out of that. Yep. Let me go back. I'll do a couple more for you. So file. Now we're going to go to track number four. So this will be D. Okay. Now we'll exit out of that. And we'll do one more. Track five. We'll scroll over with the jog wheel to where it says E. Enter. Or F, rather. I'm sorry. And we'll exit out of that. Now we just transferred all those files over to the Zoom and let's see what we got. There you hear the hi-hat and the two guitars. So that's how you transfer files and assign the tracks. Now I'm going to show you how two people that own a Zoom R16 can work on the same project but individually from their own homes. Glenn wanted to know how to do this, so I'm going to give you a quick example. I recorded drums on track 2 and guitar on track 1. It's just a little 4 bar thing. And if you notice, I put a count off on the hi-hat on the drums. That's important to have, so I'll just let you hear that real quick. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to make believe that I'm sending the files to another person, and that person will put bass on, and we'll just swap out these files. So I'll show you how two people can record from a distance. All right, so now I'm going to pull this SD card with the guitar and drums on it from the Zoom, and I will put it in the laptop. As you can see, it says Project 14 right there. So I'm going to pull this SD card out. I'm going to make believe that I'm sharing the files with somebody. All right, so I'll put this in my laptop. And now we will swap out the files. All right, so the SD card is in my laptop. I pulled up Project 14. Okay, and here's the guitar and drum track. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to move those two files over to where it says Zoom 4 here. All right, and we're going to make believe that I'm... Um, emailing these files or sharing them through Dropbox with another person. Okay, so now if I click on Zoom 4, the guitar and drum track is there. All right, now we're going to pretend I'm the other person on the other end receiving that track of guitar and drums. All right, so I have my Zoom machine here and you see it says Project 000. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the SD card out of my Zoom and then I will go to my laptop and I will put that card in. As you can see, these are two totally different cards. This is a 128 megabyte card. I wouldn't recommend anybody use something that small, but just for the purpose of this demonstration, that's what I'm going to use. All right, so now I received the tracks. I got them through the email, let's pretend. And here is the guitar track and the drum track. Now I'm gonna drag them over to my SD card. So I'm gonna click on SD card. Here's project 000. All right. And you see it says audio there. So I'm gonna take these two tracks and I'm gonna drag them over to where it says audio and drop them in. Now I'm going to pull the card from the laptop and I'll put it in the Zoom. And you could use the USB cable if you want. I'm just doing this to uh, show you as an example of 
doing it with the cards. Okay, so now you see it says Project Zero Zero, and that's great. And if we hit play, there's not going to be anything there. So we have to assign those tracks. We just drug over from the laptop. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit uh, just adjust the camera so you could see. So it says project. We're going to hit project here. We're going to scroll over to where it says file. We're going to click enter. And you see it says not assigned. We're going to use that jog wheel, turn it over once. And we just did that. So now we'll get out of there. We'll press play. And we'll have the drum track there on track one. Okay, so now we'll do that again for the guitar track, file, enter. We'll scroll over to where it says track two. It says not assigned. We'll use that guitar, uh, the jog wheel. And now we'll bring, bring over mono track one. That's going to be the guitar. Click enter. We'll get out of that. And now you're going to hear the guitar and the drums. <laughs> Okay, so now I'll just put a little bass track on there. All right, now I recorded a bass track on track three. I'll let you hear it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that bass track and I'm gonna pretend I emailed it back to the person that recorded the drums and the guitar and you'll see the whole thing complete. Now I'm going to transfer that bass track over. So we're going to pull this SD card out. This is the uh, 128 megabyte card that I just recorded the bass on. We'll put that in there. All right, now I'm going to drag that uh, bass track I just did over. So I'm going to click on the SD card uh, project zero 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 there's the audio right there and where it says mono zero zero two that's the bass track that I just did so I'm gonna take that one track right there and I am gonna drag it over to where it says bass and there's the bass track so now I'm gonna uh, pretend that I'm going to email this track right here to the original recipient that did the drums and guitar and we'll take that one bass track and transfer it into that original project with just the the drums and the guitar. All right so now I'm going back to the original card that just had the uh, the drums and the guitar on it. Put that in the laptop. Uh, so now we'll play a little bit more pretend and I just received that bass track in an email. So there's the bass track right there. Mono 002. So the original project we were working on was project 14. And I'm just going to take that bass track right there and I'm going to drag it over to where it says audio on the project 14. Okay, so when I click on that now there's the drums, the guitar, and the bass, and we'll put that back in the Zoom, and I'll let you hear it. All right, so now I'm going to take that card out of the laptop. We're going to put it in the Zoom. Okay, so now we're going to turn on the Zoom, and we are going to go to that Project 14 which is right there. Now what I'm going to do is I got to pull that bass track in. So I am going to uh, hit project. I'm going to scroll over to where it says file. I'm going to click file. I'm going to put the bass on track 4. So I'm going to light up track 4 right there. It says not assign. And I'm going to use the jog wheel to turn it over where it says mono 2 that was the bass track right we'll click enter and now I'll let you hear it back we'll turn up track 4 
and everything should be there. So now we should have the guitar, the drums, and the bass. And that is how you would share files and work on a project together from a distance. Now I'm going to show you how to use the swap feature. It's real easy. Right now I have drums on track one and guitar on track two. So drums are on track one, guitar is on track two. We're going to swap those. I'm going to click the swap bounce button. You can see it says swap. Click enter. It says select track, we're going to choose one, select track again, two. So now we're going to click enter, swap is complete. Now the guitar is going to be on track one and the drums are going to be on track two. There's the guitar and there's the drums. That's how you use swap. I'm going to show you now a workaround for using more than one insert effect at the same time in a project. Some people are having uh, problems using an insert effect on a guitar and then trying to use the insert effects again on mastering. I'm going to show you a workaround for that. Now I recorded a little four bar thing and I recorded a clean guitar on track one. I'll let you hear it. Very clean right there. I'm going to put a distorted guitar on that. So I'm going to click insert effect. Right now I'm in the mastering section, so I'm going to scroll over to where the uh, distorted section is for guitars. Here's the distorted section right here, and we'll just use UK Blues, right? I'll click the down button. I'm going to put import source, and we're going to scroll over to where it says track one. So now that insert effect, that UK uh, blues guitar is on track one. I'll click exit and now we'll hear it. There'll be distorted guitar. Alright, so now we have that distorted guitar there. Now, here's where the problem comes up, right? Now, some people they want to put the mastering effect when they're done on, so they'll click insert effect. They'll scroll over to where it says mastering. It says input source. We're going to click enter. We're going to put the mastering effect across all the tracks right there. I'll exit. And now you'll hear the mastering effect on these two tracks that I recorded, but that distorted guitar will be clean. It'll be gone. <laughs> So you can't use two insert effects at the same time, basically. So I'm going to show you a workaround with that. What we're going to do now is we'll go back to that guitar, right? We're going to click insert effect again. We're going to get out of the mastering. We'll go back to that guitar. Click enter. Insert effect is on. Input source. We're going to go back to track two. or I'm sorry, track one. Click enter, and now that distorted guitar will be there. Okay. Now, if I want to continue and I want to use that mastering effect across the whole song, what I'm going to, and I want to keep that distorted guitar, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to bounce that guitar with the insert effect on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Swap bounce, right? It says swap. I'm going to go to bounce. Okay. I'm going to turn the bounce on. See, it says off. We need the jog wheel. Now it's on. We'll get out of that. We'll go to the top of the track. I'm going to mute the drums. So now just the guitar is going to be playing. And we're going to bounce that to track three. So I'll click record, play, and that guitar will be, be bounced from here to here.
Now let's listen back. I'll mute track one and we'll listen to track three and that distorted guitar is going to be there. Put some drums in. Okay, so just to review, we put that insert effect on the clean guitar, which was on track one, and we bounced it over to track three. So that printed that distorted guitar on track three. So now we have a distorted guitar, and now we could use that mastering effect. So I'll click insert effect again. We're in the guitar section. I'm going to scroll over to the mastering section. Okay, we're going to use maximizer. Input source. It's on master. I'll click, click enter. We'll get out of that. And now we're using the maximizer mastering effect. And that's how you could use a workaround to use more than one insert effect. Hope the video was helpful and answered some questions. As always, please subscribe and don't forget, check out my new music video for Spin and Wheel. And here are the other three Zoom videos I did. Happy recording. I'll catch you next time.